Down a back alley in D.C., an abandoned lot has been transformed into a community of tiny homes. I'm a McMansion on the tiny house lot. Yeah. At a whopping 210 square feet, Brian Levy's house dwarfs the other three. Obviously, I can't have a dinner party for 20, but I can definitely have a dinner party for seven. This is the matchbox. It's about 140 square feet. This will be the kitchen. Uh, there'll be a couch over here, a bench over here, countertop over here kitchen table over here and then desk back there. Though just 140 square feet, Jay Austin's home is an open concept design. A lot of open windows. I wanted the space to feel very, very open. I didn't want there to be a lot of clutter above uh, sort of the waste level. This is the para house. Here will be a sink and a countertop that goes to about here probably. And Lee Para hired an architect and builder to ensure her design with a kitchen, bathroom, living area, and loft maximized all 160 square feet. For me, this was just like a big creative challenge and kind of challenging the way we think about living in society and um, creatively living in urban spaces. These three homes still under construction are considered to be second generation tiny homes, each with its own unique design. But this one, completed years ago, is more of a first-generation cookie-cutter design, just parked here temporarily. Main motivations for being in a tiny, or for building a tiny house were uh, affordability, simplicity, mobility, and sustainability. These homes cost only between twenty and fifty thousand dollars to build. Hey, this is a minimum house, and can also minimize utility expenses. Solar array on the south face, which will power most of the appliances and lighting in the house. Uh, there's also rainwater collection, so almost all the water will be rainwater. Um, filtered through some filters. And while D.C. zoning laws don't allow for full-time living in these so-called travel trailers now, the owners are showcasing their creations in hopes of inspiring change. And to stimulate thinking, if not in the district here, then perhaps somewhere else. Steve Shenevy, ABC 7 News.